Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to look at non-ohmic conductors. So let's get started. Now, we've already seen in the theory video for ohmic conductors that ohmic conductors obey Ohm's law. But a non-ohmic conductor, on the other hand, is a component that does not obey Ohm's law. For example, a bulb or a lamp. So if you do an experiment similar to the Ohm's law experiment, but you use a bulb instead of a resistor, then what you'll see is a different result. And this is because a bulb is a non-ohmic conductor, so it's not going to follow Ohm's law, which says that voltage is directly proportional to current. So we should not expect a straight line graph for a non-ohmic conductor. Just to show you what would happen if you took some results from an experiment on a non-ohmic conductor, you'll see here that we have a DC power supply connected in series with a bulb and an ammeter, and then we have a voltmeter across the bulb. So that means we can measure the current passing through the bulb and the voltage across the bulb. So so in this example, if you were to change the voltage in even steps of 2 volts and then write down the current value, here's a set of sample results for 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 volts, where if you plot this on a graph of voltage against current, you'll notice that we no longer get a straight line. In fact, what we get is a curve that goes up the way. And this is going to be typical for any non-ohmic conductor. We're going to get a curve rather than a straight line. And this means that voltage is not directly proportional to the current, which is what we should expect because we're saying that a non-ohmic conductor does not obey Ohm's law. So going back to the notes now, it says that plotting a graph of voltage on the y-axis versus current on the x-axis gives a curve rather than a straight line. Calculating the resistance at each point on the curve reveals that it is not constant, i.e. it varies, so it changes. So unlike what we saw for the ohmic conductors where resistance stays the same at all points on the straight line, for a curve, resistance is not going to stay the same. And in actual fact, if we were to take a tangent at each point on this curve, so a straight line that goes off there, a straight line that goes off there, a straight line that goes off there, and so on, you'll notice that the steepness of our tangent actually increases i.e. the steepness of our curve increases, and that means that resistance will actually increase for a non-ohmic conductor. So it says here the graph shows that as current increases, the steepness of the curve increases, and therefore resistance also increases. So notice how the steepness increases, so resistance increases. It then goes on to talk about how temperature can affect the resistance of a conductor, because remember we're using a bulb or a lamp here, and a bulb is going to heat up during the experiment, and it's actually this change in temperature that is causing the change in resistance. So why does this happen? Well, when a conductor heats up, the metal atoms gain energy and will vibrate more. Electrons flowing through the conductor collide with these metal atoms, leading to an increased resistance to the flow of electrons. So because you have more movement now from the metal atoms, which are vibrating more, that's going to cause an increased resistance to the flow of the electrons. This means that non-ohmic behaviour arises when temperature changes. So it's the increase in temperature which is causing the increase in resistance. So just to summarise this, we've got a little table here with type of conductor and some properties. So for ohmic conductors like a resistor, we've seen that as current increases, resistance stays the same, it's constant. And the temperature stays the same as well, because we're assuming that the temperature of the resistor is not going to heat up enough to cause any significant effects. And for a non-ohmic conductor such as a bulb, as current increases, the resistance increases and the temperature changes. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.